So I'm Martin McInnes, and I'm here to introduce my new novel, In Ascension. As you can see, it's a bit of a tome. It's about twice as long as my previous novels. Um, so it, it's an epic, but it's also an intimate novel, I think. Uh, in Ascension is about Lee, Lee Hassenbosch, um, a marine biologist from the Netherlands. Um, the book is partly about her relationship with her family, her mother, her sister, and in particular, her father. But it's also about her independent life as a research scientist which takes her to some quite extraordinary places. She visits a deep sea vent in the Atlantic, and in connection with this, she goes into outer space. Obviously, these are quite melodramatic events, but no more dramatic, I think, than the more ordinary events of our own lives seem to us. It's an exciting, gripping book, I hope, full of wonder and awe. It's concerned with questions such as what we are, where we come from, and how we relate to each other, and how we relate to all the other species that we share the planet with. So I'm here in Waterstones, Piccadilly, and I'm going to talk about three books that have influenced or informed me as a writer, um, and also influenced uh, in Ascension. So the first is To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf. Woolf is perhaps my favourite writer, and um, this is arguably her, her finest novel. Um, it's about the Ramsey, the sprawling Ramsey family um, on their visits to a house in Skye every year. Um, I think us fiction is quite exciting and provocative. It's doing something really unusual. It's showing its characters from extremely close up and very far away, all through its scales, and um, quite a disorienting and um, also beautiful way. I don't think I've read anything that hints so strongly at the infinite capacity of every single human life and also shows how easily those lives can be extinguished. Wolf has an unfair reputation as a miserablist. She's not. Um, I find her work profoundly energising and life-affirming. So my second choice is Other Minds by Peter Godfrey Smith. Uh, this is a non-fiction work. It's a blend of popular science, philosophy and memoir. One of the things I really love is the author's descriptions of the deep dives he took, his encounters with sea life and in particular with octopuses. Then really fascinating, vivid descriptions. The whole book is filled with uh, a kind of reverence and respect for other life forms for their way of being, um, their place in the world, their other minds, other lives. It's an ambitious book. Uh, it goes back in time and speculates on the origins of consciousness and some early, early creatures. And if I'm making it sound heavy and um, more a difficult book, it's really not. Um, you don't need to be an expert to enjoy this, as I think uh, I've proved. So my final choice is Solarids by Stanislav Lem. Everything Lem wrote is extraordinary. I think he's a, a neglected writer, certainly in the English-speaking uh, world. This is his most famous book, largely because of the film adaptations, neither of which I think do justice to just how strange and beautiful this is. It's about a crew orbiting the planet Solaris, investigating its strange and apparently sentient ocean. The ocean interacts with their psyches in quite dramatic ways, their um, inner lives, their their dreams, their memories. It, in this sense, the, the cliché is true. It's a, it's a book about inner worlds and outer space. Um, Len's speculations on what exactly the ocean might be are completely astounding. He, I mean, everything he writes, he's interested in how humans relate to other life forms, and um, something which is particularly important to me uh, and to what I wrote in, in Ascension.